Two-thirds of the world's known species of Cypripedium hail from China, and nearly half are endemic to that country. In previous videos, I've talked at length about Cypripedium flavum and Cypripedium tibeticum, two very common species in the mountains of western China. Today's video will focus on other species of Cypripedium that were found on a botanical tour of northern Sichuan in June 2013. Our search for these elusive plants took us to deep limestone canyons, high mountain valleys, alpine meadows full of flowers and yaks, and travertine limestone valleys. The travertine formations of Wanglong National Park are home to a host of orchid species, including this lovely group of Cypripedium bardolfiana, growing in a little island amongst the travertine streams and waterfalls. Cypripedium bardolfianum is a dwarf colony forming species. Some plants have a lot of deep purple flushing along the leaf margins and tips, while others are more bright green with spotting within the leaf proper itself. The odd little flowers are born singly on a bractless stalk. The flower's base color is yellow and is suffused with varying amounts of purple pigment, sometimes producing a nearly black color such as this specimen, while other flowers can be nearly pure yellow throughout. The ovary of a recently pollinated flower begins to swell almost immediately. The stalk bearing the seed pod grows vertically and can grow up to three times its original size. Many of western China's Cypripedium species flower during the beginning of the summer monsoonal rainy season, making it treacherous to go out and see these plants in their native habitat. Here we see Tom Kipfer, a tour participant, carefully crossing a mountain torrent. Some 50 meters above that torrent, we found a lovely pair of Cypripedium calcicola growing on a limestone scree slope. Cypripedium calcicola is floristically very close to Cypripedium tibeticum. In fact, the distinguishing characteristics are rather obscure. Its flower color is normally a deep plum. Uh, there is no white rim around the orifice of the lip, and the lip itself is usually laterally compressed. In general, this plant is somewhat diminutive in size, both in terms of the stature and flower size. And occasionally you'll see a really tiny one like this little guy. Travertine is a type of limestone that precipitates out of carbonate-rich groundwaters. Over time, layer after layer of limestone is laid down over these stream beds. The streams tend to change position, and when they do, they dry out, leaving behind these travertine formations. Eventually, humus and moss begin to accumulate over this material, and it becomes perfect habitat for Cypripediums. Here is a lovely colony of Cypripedium guttatum growing over an old travertine formation. The main distribution of this dwarf species is in northern Asia, but there are two disjunct populations, one in Alaska and adjacent areas of Canada, 
as well as this southern population, confined to the very high mountains of southwest China and Tibet. Its delicate little flowers are always born singly, with the dorsal sepal forming a hood over the top of the flower. Another species we saw flowering in these travertine areas was Cypripedium shanksiense, a close relative of Cypripedium henrii and Cypripedium sedui. The flowers number up to three per stem. Uh, they have this bronzy color, which is unusual, and they are self-pollinating. The plants here in Sichuan are at the western edge of their distribution for the species with the bulk of it being in northern China, all the way to Manchuria, and even to the island of Hokkaido in Japan. A radically different habitat we explored were these deep river gorges where a number of cypripediums can be found. The elevation in these gorges is much lower than the other cypripedium habitats we visited, between 2,000 and 2,500 meters so many of the species we saw were out of flower already. The forest here is largely deciduous and scrubby and is home to a number of very rare endemic plants. One fascinating species we got to see was Cypripedium sichuanense, an endemic of northern Sichuan. This plant is one of the spotted leaf cypripediums, a small group confined to China and perhaps parts of Myanmar and northern Vietnam. The plants in the wild were just out of flower, but we were lucky to see these beautiful plants in full bloom at Holger's Nursery in Wang Long. Another neat little dwarf species we got to see was Cypripedium micranthum, a close relative to Cypripedium rodolfiana. Again, just out of flower. Due to earlier flowering periods, we also missed uh, a variety of other species in flower, including Cypripedium henrii, Cypripedium fasciolatum, a relative of C. farrari, and C. plectrochylum, a relative of the North American C. areatinum. Two other sips of the region we failed to see in flower in the wild were Cypripedium fargazi and Cypripedium palangsiense. Again, though, we were rewarded with lovely plants in flower at Holger's Nursery in Huanglong.